a chance for these teams after all these practices to see somebody else on the other side of them. That's right, Seth. This is finally an opportunity for these teams to come out there and show all the work they've done in the off season. I think what you're seeing from Ole Miss is the repetitive top 25 recruiting classes now, three years in a row, coming together. It all comes from the coaches and us trusting the process and them uh, giving us a tough schedule to see what we'll be about. And we've had a lot of fight, fighting back. Um, that's a culture that we started laying the first day we're here, we were here, and we're starting to see that each and every game. Corner, Lewis for three. Got it. Tory Lewis, the three-point specialist knocks it down. How about that defense? Tory Lewis just went up and picked Ruder's pocket. Nixon with a chance to finish and does on the break. And all of those um, new faces um, are meshing together with each other. Johnson corner for Muhammad. She got a three in the corner. Finds her teammate inside. You talk about hustle and just doing everything right. There's Bree Glover with the assist. Now we got a long way we got to continue to go and we'll get there, but I'm excited about the process of getting there and the journey of that. With the first words already being written into this year's book, a promising new character from the great Northwest has begun to script out a tall tale of her own. Hey, and her arms just go and go and go. A seven foot wingspan for Promise Taylor. Coaches help me a lot. Um, they take me step by step through everything. Find your man, Promise. Find your man again. Find your man. There you go. Good. Now we want to duck in on this side. Promise. Catch the ball and do what? You scored. Chin the thing, look. Dreet, let her relocate and then play from there. Life as a freshman can spin right by you. So it is best to keep it simple and play to your strengths. I look to block shots and get rebounds. It's my job, they, my coaches make that very clear. It's nice to know that you have a player on the inside that can protect your house like that and bring offensive points like she does. Meet inside, Promise Taylor dumps it over the front iron for a bucket. Having that type of size and a paint, it opened up a lot of scoring abilities for Medina Muhammad and like a Sandrika Sessa, my China Nixon. Far side, it's Sessa. Lots of space cleared out by Taylor. She'll pull up and knock down that three. She takes up a lot of space offensively and defensively. She's somebody that you cannot guard with just one player. You have to put two and three in their own. I said it when I recruited her that I think she'll reset the record books when it comes to block shots and rebounds. And I, I really feel that way about her. Street lost the handle. Clock runs out, and Ole Miss wins by 29. 92-63 the final. The Rebels are 2-0 on the young season. Oh, yeah, it's off to Chicago, Chi-Town. Let's get it. With two fresh victories in the tank, it was wheels up for the Windy City. Hey, Mr. Allen, how you doing? I mean, I'm ready. Chi-Town, we're taking over Chicago. It's the takeover. I got bundle up, you know, because we're going to that north weather. That north weather up north that way. What are the two fastest ways to get to know your teammate more closely, you ask? Simply ask them, or you can travel with them. This year, the vibe is a lot different. We have a funny group. We all childish, and we all just play. <laughs> My battle with airplanes is one that I I don't think I'm winning right now. I never have enough leg room, and the flight attendants don't really like me because I put my leg in the aisle. It wasn't me. We have a great day. Welcome to Chicago. It's my first flight, too. It was kind of scary at first, really. Uh, hey, listen, it's a lot of energy, a lot of enthusiasm. It's game day. It's another opportunity for us to get, get another win in our journey and our process of where we're going. You understand me? How do we do that? We communicate. We have consistent communication, have consistent energy, and consistent um, enthusiasm. We have those things, guys, we'll get another win today. So let's get a win, all right?
Execute tonight. execution. Family on three. One, two, three. Family. Family. Here we go. Ball handling. Let's go. On the bounce. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Ball handling. Be sharp. Everything that we do. It's game day. Good. Everybody talking. Every cut, talk. Sprint through. Hello. Oh. Hey, we're going to rock back. Five on each side. Here we go. Who's up? Let's go. Oh. Weight room. Marley! Oh, nice try. Okay. Oh, oh nothing but net. Oh. Ole, 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 ole. Let's go, clap it up. Here we go. Great shoot around, great shoot around. Let's take that over into the game. Let's turn loose tonight. Let's get us a big win. Let's get a big win tonight. Here we go. Win on three. One, two, three. Win! Got to be off in four and a half. what today is? It's game day. Just like that game, we're going to duck. Uh, I think we're about to go eat, and then we'll be back round two, I think, for uh, the game. So. As most of the team find themselves in a new place, for one Rebel, it was back to that same old place Sweet Home Chicago. I think they told me last year actually that we were going, but I didn't know if it was finalized or not. So, you know, after the season, we were doing like uh, postseason or preseason or whatever. He was like, yeah, we're going to Chicago. I'm like, yeah, I bet. No matter your background, life with older siblings can be a struggle to survive. My older brother wanted a brother. So the reason why she's so tough is really because of him. Yeah, I couldn't stand it when I was younger. They used to pick on me and make fun of me, but I think them doing that made me like how I am to this day. Like I used to play fight with my brother all the time. He would have her walking on her hands and throwing her across the couch. And I'm like, she's a girl. She all right, she could take it. And she just really has ever since. She came out just an old soul. Just always knew who she was, even when she was just really young. When she started off as a cheerleader, and she was uh, what they called the flyer, because she was so small. They would always throw her in the air, and I'm freaking out, and she's just laughing. Wait, let's do it again. I'm like, oh God, y'all better not drive my baby. When she went to high school and played with Whitney Young, that's when you know I knew she would take the next step because they was that's what they were known for, taking kids to the next level as far as basketball is concerned. When we kind of made a deal because we lived in the south suburbs at the time, and you know, the school, which was a pretty good school, home with Flossmore, but I just wanted her to go to Whitney Young and have um, an opportunity for both to really grow academically and with a sport that she really loved. And so I said, hey, if you give me high school, I promise you, whatever college you choose, I will support you. And it did come down to that too, you know. I just, you know, trusted her because she's usually always right about everything. And they got me two state championships and, you know, a scholarship to Ole Miss. Even upon Medina's first steps onto campus, she knew exactly where she wanted to go. My favorite spot on the court is behind the arc, the three, because I like to shoot it. Oh, shot. Mohammed is feeling it again tonight. As if you give her an inch of sunlight, she's going to take it. Such a strong, powerful player. Kick out Mohammed, another three on the way. She's got another. I tell Medina on a daily basis she's the best um, scoring wing player in our league. I don't like to compare Medina's growth to mine because we average around the same points our freshman year. And then his sophomore year, we both doubled our average uh, points after the season. You can see what she's done in the last six games. Her scoring has improved, but she's plus seven overall from last year. So she continues to evolve as a go-to player. Medina 
has the ability to score the basketball in many different ways. Her ball handling skills is really good. She has a knack to do something real special when the ball is in her hands. And she do moves that like I can learn from. This is that I've never done them before. Scoop off the window for Medina Muhammad. She's just a scoring phenom for us. She brings so much versatility because a most scout reports is Cindric Assessor and Medina Muhammad. And they are creating not only for themselves, but they're creating for everyone else because they know the focus is on them. She carries that swag and she got a lot of confidence. She's such a representation of Chicago. Rejected by Muhammad. Has something to say for O'Neal as well. Muhammad pull up three, another one, bang. She pulled that one quick too, didn't she? Didn't even hesitate. I, mean, I think the confidence just came from me, you know, putting the work in, being in the gym pretty much every day and then just having a coach knowing that I'm in the gym and he has confidence in me, which, you know, gives me confidence in myself. And, you know, when I do shoot the shots, I'm like, sometimes I just try it and if I see it go in, I'm just like, okay, my, my work paid off. So, you know, I just keep on trying to be consistent. The Maggie Dixon Classic would open with a tough test against an Atlantic 10 foe. Got off to a hot start shooting the basketball, scoring the ball at a high rate of speed. You just knew that at some point we were going to lock in and guard, and, and we just had a real sluggish game defensively. It was back and forth in the first half, you know, tough, and then second half, they just it came out hot, and um, they got away from us. We were down on ourselves. We were upset because we weren't getting the stops that we needed to get, and that carried over into the offensive end and ended up um, losing the game for us. And that's why you play these type of games. You play against good competition to get yourself better, to, to learn from things, and we'll learn from this, and we'll get better and be ready to go tomorrow. I walk into a film session next morning, I still see frowns on people's faces. I see a team that's down, um, and we're only three games into the season. When I woke up this morning, the one thing that I was just more excited about than anything is we get to play today. So anything that you may have did wrong last night, anything that's in your head right now, saying, man, I wish I'd have done this or I'd have done that. And the same thing goes for us as coaches. Because we sit up at night and we talk about things that maybe we did wrong in a game and how we can fix it. We get another opportunity today. He kept us focused, he kept our enthusiasm, the energy was still right. He kept us going and it was just positive. Our enthusiasm is going to be good, our communication is going to be good. We're going to make some adjustments. We got to start the game better. So I'm going to make some adjustments to how we start the game. Again, trust the process, trust the journey. We got Delaware State, good basketball team. Got preseason player of the year in their league. They're picked, another team that's picked at the top of their league. They scored 71 points last night. I, I like that. We're not going to be backing up. We're not going to be doing any of that. We're going to be in and out. We're going to make this kid. If she starts doing that, we're ripping it going the other way. We're going to get after her just like you two get after each other in practice. You understand me? Plays hard. Watch her screen here. She ain't turning and, and bouncing or anything like that. She's sprinting to this block. She's going through contact. She's looking to get deep post position. She uses her body well around the basket. You see how this kid is playing way off here? She's backing up, which allows her to be screened. Where we should be is up. So if I'm guarding, if Alyssa's guarding me, she's up here stunning at me and making me have to go here, and it really becomes no screen. You got me? So there's no need of going under all of that, all right? We understand that, guys? If I'm up there guarding and somebody hears, I hear baseline, they're going to think they're going to isolate me? That's got to be your approach. They're not going to isolate me. I'm going to lock this kid up. And after I lock her up, I'm going to stare at her like, really? Really, you thought you could score on me? Really, he told us his exact words was, St. Louis woke us up. That's when he said a wake up call. And that worked because the next game we came out and we played on Miss Basketball. We went to Chicago to play DePaul. That's who we wanted to play. And um, getting in there and, and, and getting beat by St. Louis didn't allow us to do what we wanted to do in terms of playing DePaul. And so we took that frustration out on Delaware State. And Delaware State has a good team. And we just took some, a lot of frustration out on them. Remember, guys, Ole Miss 
Basketball. Ole Miss Basketball is fundamentals. Things that we work on every single day. Do those fundamentals. Have a lot of energy doing it. Have a lot of enthusiasm. And let's go get a win. Here we go. Balls up. Taylor tips it over. Cool, calm, and collected on the road. That's right, and I like the energy there that she brought after the, the mate, too. And she's on fire to start this game. Dominant from the start, the Rebels would follow the lead from their high-scoring backcourt. Near side, Alston, the ball up to Sesame the alley. You play, it's good. Alston, awesome, a smart move, and how about that pass to the inside? Alyssa Alston lays it in with 30 seconds left in the half. Wow, well, the point guard came to play tonight. Rebound pulled down by Sesame, and she's pushing. Well, when everybody's going good, it's good for me because I know my sis going good. But even if I don't get the assist, I'm just glad that the, the energy and the offensive tempo, the defensive tempo is just going the way we want to go. And when Ole Miss energy and enthusiasm up, it's kind of hard to contain it. Inside pass to Taylor, lots of time on the turnaround, easy bucket for her. The first half filled to the brim with energy and effort would lead to the largest scoring margin at halftime in the history of the program. I challenge you to keep playing with energy. I challenge you to keep playing with enthusiasm. All right, this half right here, you played a great first half. Put it together and play another great one. Put it together and play another great one. Continue having energy on the bench. Continue being there for each other. Continue pulling for each other. I told you guys, they didn't kill us last night. They just woke us up. Feeling all kinds of good, the Splash Sisters would soon invite everyone to the party. We just came in focused put a lot of energy and we just executed and everybody was getting touches. When everybody's clicking like that, uh, it makes the flow just so easy. And you know what your job is, so you just, it's like pieces of a puzzle. It's really the best feeling because that's when you really gain your confidence and then it gives your team energy. Pull up three, got it. Two point baskets, what it's called. I think she has found her flow, she's starting to feel it. I feel like I haven't really played that freely in a long time. Medina Muhammad coming into the season with a new level of confidence, and she's displaying it for everybody here tonight, setting a new career high in point score. She was like, I know I could have did better, and what are you talking about? You had 29 points. They were screaming my name, and like, I would have to focus, because then the coaches would look at me like, Dina, you're not paying attention. And like, I just laugh a little bit on the inside. I was just happy that I got to, you know, watch them have fun, watching me have fun. Yeah.